Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam and welcome to the second annual Extra Life charity stream on the Unhinged channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. We already have four viewers, holy crap. Um, who all is here? Sound off. Sound off, who's here? Hello, hello. Hey, what's up, Sydney? It's like uh, Revan Master as well. Revan Master, are you here? Or am I just opening a tab like usual? Either way, hi. Good morning, Sydney. Uh, good morning, everybody who's here. Um, I appreciate everybody here in the chat. So, you may have noticed, uh, if you look right there, we've already received a donation. So I've got chicken nuggets in the, uh, I put two in there because you know, I might drop one or something. Always, always do two. Um, but I have push-ups to do already. I already have push-ups to do. I apologize, but you guys are coming with me. So last year I had to record a video and put it on the Discord. This year I have an extra webcam. Uh, however, that means unfortunately you guys have to see my nasty floor because push-ups so um hopefully hopefully this means you guys don't have to see my feet that's weird uh apologize for the audio you guys are just gonna have to deal with it um what's the best way to do this here 10 push-ups hello hi oh my gosh we have an extra camera what okay hopefully i can fit down here Hopefully you guys can see. This is going to be the weirdest camera angle anyone has ever had. But, okay, 10 push-ups. Can I fit? I can't. Barely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. There's my 10 push-ups. We're already, we're not even like 10 minutes into the stream, and I already have done, uh, a thing for the kids all right sorry I keep looking over there because that's the that's the thing that's the playback so all right hey look the nuggets just got done most exercise you've done in years shut up I mean I do walk like 10 miles a night so okay next up uh where's my d20 there's my d20 okay legal d20 as you can see forgive the cat hair on my desk, my cat literally sat right here for like the whole uh, yesterday. You can tell I'm out of shape. Jesus Christ. Okay, so if you look below the stream, actually, I'd probably bring it up myself here. Uh, charity 2024, E20 2024. Okay, here we go. Here, below the stream is the key. What do we got? 12. That's a 12, which is soy sauce again. That's what I did last year. Soy sauce was last year. All right. I guess I'm doing soy sauce again. Fucking hate soy sauce. All right. Hang on. I'll go grab me a ramekin and a nugget. And soy sauce. Revan Master, hello. Remember last year how I rolled the d20, landed on 12, and had to do soy sauce? Remember this year when I rolled the d20, landed on 12, and have to do soy sauce? I guess I'll be right back so that I can go get some soy sauce and the nugget. It's already ready. I'll be right back.
Hi, Philip. Yeah, I don't know why you're uh, not mod anymore. Sorry. I will fix that in just a minute if I can remember how. Okay, we have Uno Nugget, which I don't really have like a good spot to set. I'll go there. Okay. We have soy sauce from the dollar store, because why not? Don't really matter. It's just going to reek, isn't it? And we have little ramekin, perfect little tiny ramekin. Do you have to say a shake soy sauce? Shake well. Yes, you do. You know, I should have shaken well um, after I pulled this tab off. This, like, freshness tab. There we go. Okay. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, the smell alone is going to make me puke. Oh, God. Okay. Soy sauce, ramekin. Is that enough to dip? I think that's enough to dip. Not that I like soy sauce, but I don't want to waste any. Uh, why is cheap soy sauce so bad? Okay. Here we go. It's going in. Soaking it up really good, per my own instructions. It's dripping. It's nasty. It's nasty and dripping. Okay. Oh. oh, God. Oh, no. Mm. Okay. Chicken hot. Oh, God. Yeah, I know it's not, but I just hate soy sauce. Um... On the chicken, it's not so bad, but it reeks. It absolutely reeks. So if you look on the D20 of sauce, the lower number you roll, the nastier it gets. And some of it's subjective because I hate it, like hot sauce. I love, Some people love hot sauce. I can't do hot sauce. But soy sauce, is it, the smell, honestly, is what gets me and how salty it is. So I guess I'll be right back again to put this away. And we'll figure out your mod, Philip. Oh, much better. Okay. Philip, how do I make you a mod? Um, no. Why is there a pin? Um, unpin this message. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Do I have to do it in actual chat, Philip? Is that what I have to do? Can I not do it in the, um, pop-out guy? Um... Reply, no. Click you. Block, report, no. Pop out, no. I never mod anybody, so. Mod view. I don't need a fucking tutorial. Okay. Block mod. There we go. There you go, Philip. Okay. For God's sake, it's been 10 minutes, 16 minutes, and we haven't even started playing the game yet. So, um... Uh, To the Moon series. Beach episode there we go
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Philip, don't abuse it. Please, don't abuse it. This is gonna make me cry, isn't it? Beach episode. To the Moon series beach episode. This is gonna make me cry, isn't it? Oh, the music. The music is sweet, but then it's very much not sweet. Oh no. I'm scared. Is this gonna be like the Sigmund minisodes? Where there's... There's like... Lore behind this. Sweet and spooky. There's gonna be lore behind this, isn't there? We're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I don't like this. Okay. It is gonna be like the Sigma Mini, so it's shit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be blown away and I'm gonna cry. Angus! Hello! There's a security camera there. It's me, Angus, your biggest customer. Who's still alive, that is. Oh, shit. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. How... How is any customer still alive? That's not supposed to be a thing. Their customers are all dead. That's the point. Like, when you... When you're done with the operation, you die. That's the whole point. Um... Well, someone's there, because the camera's... Trapped in their own mind. Ooh, maybe. They serve water on the plane, you know. Yeah, but you never know when they'll get to you. And whenever there's turbulence... Would you let the wind decide the fate of your own hydration, Eva? Okay, okay, forget I said anything. Anybody at all? Oh, okay, so she's getting, like, push notifications from the camera. So, for those of you who haven't played, <clears throat> the whole point of this game is that, um... They give people what they want, their wishes, but uh, the end of the operation, so they only make the wishes happen in your own mind, but at the end of it, you die. So they only allow people to do the operation on their deathbed. So um, that way they're not killing anybody that wouldn't have already been dead. <clears throat> so there's some weird shit going on. Like six or seven years ago, they released a mini-sode that showed that there's some, like, Inception-level stuff going on. I think we're in Neil's brain. Or at least we were in that episode, so I guess we'll see. Okay. Let's bring it a little bit louder. I brought it down a second. Okay, anybody at all, that'll be the guy. What's that? Headquarters security camera. It's just Angus again. Okay, so he's a repeat. Okay, anyway. Attention, flight 326 passengers. Boarding will begin shortly at gate 4. Excuse me. Sheesh, are those two still coming? Well, Roxy wouldn't miss anything free, let alone a free vacation. Oh, so they're going with Roxy and, um, what's his name? They're sure cutting it pretty close. I guess I'll go get something from the shop and read on the plane. To read on the plane? I'm sorry, I didn't. You go fill that quota something or other. Damn. Yeah, yeah, call me when they start boarding. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can run. Hell yeah. What's in here? Is this the bathroom? No? Is it just a window or something? Can I talk to people? Hang on. Do you still have the gum I gave you? Yeah. Good. Stick them in your ears when you feel the pressure in the plane. I don't think that's how it works. I think you're supposed to just chew it. Drop in. Thanks for for sweating Raleigh Children's Hospital through Extra Life. Hope you have a great game day weekend. Hey, Donna for Raleigh. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. We already got 20 bucks, so hopefully hopefully we can uh, make that grow. But um, thank you so much for being here. Have a, have a good day, man. Uh, we're playing a, a really sweet game right now, and hopefully we can... Uh, after a great start, exactly. I'm hoping that uh, it keeps going, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. So, uh, this mom is telling her kid to shove bubble gum in her ears instead of chewing it on the plane. I don't think that's how it works. Even the kid's like, I think I'm supposed to just chew it. 
No, sweetheart, they're for your ears. Um, okay. I don't think that's how it works. What's this guy say? I came here to charge my phone, but it seems like the battery is depleting instead. Wait a minute, am I powering the escalator? <laughs> Somehow I've felt that way before. Who else we got? This person? No. Okay. Anyone interesting out here? No. Okay. I'm assuming that most all of these people are... Hey, Dad, if I fall asleep on the plane, will I miss the stop? Of course not. I'd wake you up. But what if you fall asleep too? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's how it works either. Okay. Can I get my own water? Water bottle filling station smells like swimming pool. Ugh. No chlorine in my water, thanks. Do these work? Oh, my God, they do. That's awesome. Oh, I know. And the fact this is made as an RPG maker, I know exactly the method used for that, too. Okay, let's go in the shop. Anything cool? All right, what's in store today? Ooh, oh my. This book was g great in brackets. Move out, move on. A link between processing grief and your environment. Interesting. Through an autobiographical study, the author shares how to move how to move on from grief. One has to move out from the environment laced with its remnants. Interesting. Are all of these generated by Neil's own mind? As in, move out of his brain? Is that... Like... Is, is that what this is? Life after death and supporting characters? Uh, overcoming loss and grief, powering through to the other side. Life after death. Read synopsis. Death in the family can be life-altering. This book shares a series of helpful steps to get back to a normal life after the passing of a loved one. Spacing is a little weird here. I don't know if it's the font or what. But the book that interesting. Huh. Uh, supporting characters. Covers ways through grief for friends and family. Don't. What? I think we're definitely in Neil's brain, for sure. Read synopsis. We about rehabilitating with the support of those around us. Sometimes the answer really is the friends who uh, made along the way. Who we made along the way. I see. Um, move out, move on. Can I, can I get all of them? Ooh, the whole world kind of just... Limited? Oh, right, sure. You know what they say, you only see what you need to see. Naira? Didn't know you were going too. Might as well, I'm already here. It's up for you too, I assume? No, please say hi to the others for me. The others. I doubt they'd remember me here. Is this a processing of the afterlife? Is that what this is? Is, is this a processing of the afterlife? Do I have to pay for this? Just the book. Yeah, just the book. What's with the book selection, by the way? It's all nonfiction. Who knows? I'm not the one who sucks the shelves. That's fair. <clears throat> have a good trip. Excuse me. Very interesting. Hey, you might want to hurry. The plane's boarding with or without Roxy and Rob. Could have just called me. Man, I wanted to catch you in the act of purchasing some questionable book of choice. Sorry to be boring. But I have to say, the book choices for this entire book rack are rather... <laughs> hey, oh. Excuse me, jeez. Hey, good, we were just about to disown you guys. What you guys blathering about? Gabbering about, sorry. Wait, are you... Are you pregnant? Whoa! She is pregnant. Not it. Robert. Roxy, how could you? Uh, do you know something I don't? Oh, don't you guys get me started on that fruit of a father. Come on, I'll explain after. Um... Okay. So anyway, that was how I invented a new lava mint flavor. 
The new lava mint flavor. The patent should arrive any day now. Huh. Anyone interesting else on this plane? No one that I notice from other games. I'm just going to ask again, who is the father? And Neil, why are you so quiet? It can't be Neil. What? Do I, why do I need to chime in on this? can't be Neil. Neil likes Rosaline. You're not answering the... Okay, that's enough. It's a watermelon. What? Rob, you ruined my moment. What? Yeah, watermelon cannot father human children. She's got a watermelon in her shirt. She gets special treatment on the plane? Wait, never mind. I just thought, you know, we'd have the bestest beach episode ever. But beach episode doesn't have a good water watermelon smashing event. What? Roxy catches a variety of dubiously cultured shows involving vacation rituals on the beach. Get watermelon, get stick, hit watermelon, and everybody's happy for some reason. I mean, we're doing it with pumpkins later if we reach our goal. So, hey, you know. I think it's three or four hundred bucks for doing pumpkin. I think it's three hundred bucks. It's below the stream. Okay, but can't we just get a watermelon once we're there? And why hide it for that matter? Well, how do you know they even have watermelons where we're going? That's fair. Customs don't allow fruits or vegetables across the border, so... So she decided to become a smuggler. Not too late to turn back. I don't want to lose a work partner over this. You can just eat it here. Don't you dare touch my baby. <laughs> we're going to get it across customs and we're going to smash it on the beach. It's going to be our wonderful beach episode. I don't think you're going to get it across customs, mate. I respect the commitment. And it can work. I've prepared the application for a new partner in case we lose her. Oof. Okay, okay, you guys just do what you do. Interesting. I'm just gonna read. Seems like a good plan. I could set an alarm for like five minutes to two o'clock. And what are you reading? Uh, let's just do two o'clock on the dot. Okay. What are you reading? Show the book? Sure. It's called Move Out, Move On. Some sort of self-help book about moving on from trauma, I suppose. Uh, are you moving on from trauma? I I don't think so. Then why did you get the book? I don't know. I just grabbed it. They only had self help books. Self help? What the fuck? They only had self help books on the shelf. It was weird. Move out. Move on. You said. That's an important book. You should read it carefully. You're familiar with it? Very. Our environment is key to shaping our behavior. Without changing it, we're prone to repetition. Oftentimes, we cling on to what we've lost long after the fact, creating an unfortunate spiral. Such as one of many points from the book. Read it carefully. It might be useful one day. Are we in Neil's brain and Eva's trying to use it to, like, to, like, heal him? Did he, is Neil dead? Because we saw in the last episode... Sigma mini so years ago. Spoilers if you haven't played it. Sorry. I'll give you three seconds to mute. Three, two, one. Spoilers if you haven't played it. The last Sigma mini so from like ten years ago. Uh, Eva saw herself. And just like for just a moment. And it was very clearly because like the version of herself that she saw was like in the machine. As in we were playing through the memory that we normally go through in this game. So it, it's... This game is a mind fuck, okay? Just just deal with it. All right then. So is is this book uh Eva's way, or I'm sorry, Neil's brain's way of saying, "Hey, just stop." Is that what this is? Anything to declare? Nothing at all. Dr. Roxanne Winters, this is your last chance. Your last chance for what? For travel because I'm allergic to customs. So let's go. I just hope she doesn't go to jail. Eh, maybe she belongs there. Neil! Oh, what in the... You're here, I knew it. Is this his... This isn't his parents. Because I'm pretty sure... I thought, um... I thought his mom... Linry. Thought we'd missed your flight. I thought Linry was dead. I thought she died. Did she not? 
I'm gonna have to replay this series again. I thought she was dead. What are you doing here? I told you it was a work trip. A work vacation. And we thought, hey, how long has it been since we took a vacation too? Too long. <laughs> Way too long. So we were like, what if we came and stayed in the same resort? What if you don't? Oh, don't worry. We won't bother you. Hello, Eva. Hey. You're embarrassing me in front of her. And even worse, you're gonna embarrass me in front of Rob. No, continue. Family's important. See? No need to be a baby about it. Now come here, baby. Oh, God. That was really good animation. I like that. We missed you, son. I can't wait to meet the rest of your colleagues. Oh, no. Wow, who knew Neil's so close with his parents, huh? Sure wish my mom and pop were still around. I don't think his are. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Something just feels a bit off. Exactly, I don't think his are. His aren't supposed to be. I think she died trying to develop the machines that that do the work that they do. If I remember from Imposter Factory, I'm pretty sure she's dead. I'm fairly certain. Tea? Coffee. But we have a cutscene. Proper cutscene. I'm... Wondering what we're gonna see here. She's drinking the coffee. Okay. Oh, she's thinking about it later. We did learn, I'm pretty sure, that Neil has a degenerative disease. Hey, you in there? Hello? Earth to Eva. <coughs> Hello? So she's thinking about this from later, because those are photos of the event. Yeah, just a bit zoned out from the nap on the drive. Okay. No kidding, it's like you've been sleepwalking ever since you got off the van. It's also fuzzy now, but I think I had a weird dream. Hmm. I'm very confused as to what's going on here. Well, you better wake up quick because we're here and they only paid for one day's stay. So this is it, huh? Yep, this is it. It's just called Hotel. That seems a little interesting. All-inclusive Golden Lobster Resort. Those look like crawfish to me. What are you guys waiting out there for? We're getting the keys. Yep, yep, we're coming. Beat you to the best rooms. Hmm. Alright, let's go cash in our vacation. Go on ahead. I'm just going to get a bit more fresh air to wake up. Something's off. You sure you are alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks. Hmm. The artwork is gorgeous. Artwork is absolutely gorgeous, as usual. Okay, question is, what am I supposed to be seeing here? Erected over a century ago, the Golden Guardian statue represents her commitment to excellence, resilience, raking in money, and honesty. Um, I feel like that's not quite right. I can just go play in the road. That's... Not safe. Um, anything in the garbage? No? Hmm. Very interesting. I can just go play in the road, which is very peculiar. I can't go off the edge of the road. What am I supposed to see out here is my question. Help wanted seeking additional skilled lobster costume maker. Okay. Should I go down to the beach? Is something wrong here? Is that what I need to be doing? Okay. Oh. 
It's the lady we saw in the bookstore, or in the, the store. She looks familiar. Yeah, it's, it's the lady we found in the store. I don't want to go talk to her quite yet. I want to see if there's anything else out here that we're meant to be seeing. Doesn't look like it. Looks pretty standard stuff. There's a, a bottle here. Huh. Hey. Remember the I remember you from the airport. You all right out here? Sure. Her name's Lunaire. <clears throat> Just saving a spot for someone. Interesting. Okay. Is this again? Is this supposed to be like the afterlife or something? Beach bar. Ooh. Can I make a drink? Nope. Okay. Uh, I should probably go check what the sign says here. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Was that who I was supposed to... Was that what I was supposed to see? Is that, uh... Is that it? Am I to go back inside now? Or did I miss something here? Okay, I can go and see that. Okay. Ooh. No. What? What? Um. N this is. Philip, you're right. This is, um. This is definitely, like, Neil's memory or combination of. So this is not good. They seem preoccupied. That's, no, that's. That's Johnny and River. That's not good. That's weird. Settling in already. Shh, listen. That sounds pleasant. No, no, no. Doesn't it sound familiar? It's for River. Kinda. It does seem to repeat itself. You gonna come get the keys? That's been delegated to Roxy. How regal. They seem preoccupied. Okay. Let's just shush. River shop will be open from 8 to 8. That's Merlandese. Come back in a bit if you want to try this game. I'm almost done. I get something from the vending machine. No? Okay. There's Neil's supposed parents. Probably aren't his parents. Uh, the hubby's on daddy duty. Finally some me time. And I can finally sit here doing nothing. Oh no. Forgot my phone. Okay. Hey, thanks for the drive. You bet. Have you checked in yet? Rox is doing it now. We'll probably head up to our rooms after. Well, we'll be here for a while. If you find yourself wandering afterwards, come join us. Hmm. Interesting. There's something about checking your phone at the hotel lobby that's different than usual. For one, you're at a hotel lobby. Okay. Alright, seems like the rooms were prepaid by your company, so let me just... Wait a minute. Sigmund Corp? Isn't that one of the companies that alter memories of the dead? Not the dead, the dying. What a wild career. I can't imagine what you've seen. Well, this one time, confidential. Yeah, it was like super confidential. Wow, I bet. Okay, here are your room key cards. Your luggage have been brought there already. Got you guys four ocean view rooms all on the ninth floor. Cloud nine. Thank you. I'll get uh, get you a coupon for our services. Thanks, but please don't. She's got like a teddy bear hat on or something. That's really weird. Print as your key card. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hey Eva, could you help me press the elevator button? Sure, but why don't you just press it? I'm pregnant. Remember. I forgot to mention, whatever you do, don't go to the basement. Why not? Long story, but it's a big mess and we're not allowed to talk about it. Anyways, the facility, the facilities are closed and restricted. Alright. Don't go to the third floor corridor for students who don't wish to die a most painful death. Apparently. Go on in, Eva. Let's figure out what the hell's going on here. 
So about that basement. No. Should we immediately go to the basement? Anyone still in chat? Apparently the basement's off limits. What are we supposed to do here? We want to go to the basement? Immediately? Just first thing with everybody else? Or do we want to wait? Just go to the... Absolutely? Okay, screw it. Basement facility currently restricted due to Code 03 incident. Okay. I missed key story. Well, I won't let us. Code 03? Do you know what that is? No, but it's even crazier than Code 02. Damn right it is. Okay, so I guess maybe rooftop? We should check out our suites first. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the we have to go to the rooms first. Okay. Well, once we're trying. Neil, here's your room key. Thanks. Wait, let me see that. Okay, Eva, here's your room key. Thanks. Also interesting we're playing with Eva. Alright, we made it in one piece. Four pieces, technically. On that note, the day is done for me. I will take my rest and vacation tomorrow. Me too, calling it a night. Really? I thought you were a night owl, Roxy. Yeah, don't be a rob. I mean, she is pregnant. <laughs> I mean, it's been a long day. Everything's probably closed anyway. Anyway, let's see. My room's 904. Which means your rooms are over there next to each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, night. Bye. Interesting. Excuse me. I guess it has been a long day. Power sleep so we can party all the way tomorrow? Sure. It's so weird. What are you standing there for? Fumbling through my keys. There's only one key card. It has two sides. Oh, well, that did it. That's the right side. Hey. We get to set your alarm. I'm sure Roxy will break down our doors before late. Shit. I only had one chance. Okay. Uh, items. Oh, so for room 908. Okay. That's all I wanted. It's my room, but... Maybe I still look around before settling down. Yeah. Let's do that, actually. No. Deciding against it. Okay. Let's go to the roof. Because we know the basement's locked. Let's just go to the roof. Um, oh, it's lobster attire. Um, sir? Trust room pool is occupied. Occupied? That's right, it's being used for a special private event. Maybe I could figure out a way to check it out. Ask for details. What kind of event? I'm sure about the details, but it was booked for a grand sum. Some big shots from that memory editing company, Sigma Court, apparently. Actually, I'm also from Sigma Court. Oh. Seven corporate event? I guess they did say they were on a company vacay. You might be using a company sponsored vac it is a company sponsored vacation after all. Sure, I guess that makes sense. Alright, you may pass then. Huh. Um Okay, well there's a guy's ass. That's there's only one repair. Willis, look, Taima. Uh, all the way uh, at the way the pale moonlight drapes over the landscape. <clears throat> that distance, just to make its way to you. <clears throat> all that distance, sorry. Oh, Willis has been 50 years and you still know how to make a lady blush. Reminds me of the moment I first laid my eyes on those irresistible cheeks of yours. Two more wrinkles than when we first started, I'm afraid. Not these cheeks. Oh my. Nope. Oh my god. Oh ho ho, you sly vixen. What am I watching? Mr. Waiter, bring, please bring that bottle of champagne and... Eva. The 
the music just stopped. Willis, timer. <clears throat> Is that, um, I know who these people are. I know it's a bit awkward and all, but, uh, I don't think I've ever told you two how nice it is to see you around the office. See us around the office? See a couple who have been together for a lifetime and still keep the fire alive, you know? That's fair. I don't think it's so common, and it's just a sweet reminder that it's possible. Oh dear, that is so nice to hear you say that. It sure is, uh, sure isn't as easy as it looks, though. Ho oh, ho ho, it sure isn't. What do you mean? Fires don't light themselves, Eva. Nor do they keep burning without being fed. Aye, and who do you think is doing the heavy lifting? The pale moonlight drapes over the landscape. My lord, the cheese. Oh my, it was so hard to keep a straight face. Wait, you mean you were just acting? To whom? To ourselves, of course. I wouldn't say it's acting, but we do have our fun. Sometimes she genuinely finds my cheese delicious. Um, he does have his moments. The point is, we start with the dramatic ham that not even we take seriously. And it always grows into something more genuine as we go. Always. That's just our way, though. Different people have different ways. I see. Now, dear, when you said that we're a sweet reminder that it's possible, is it something you want? Me? I suppose, of course. Then I think you should go for it. Excuse me? Whether it's long or short, a lifetime is still a lifetime. I don't think you should shy away from what's possible. Tama. And neither should he. What? Ama. Anyway, we have this place reserved for the night. Just let us know if you'd like to use it, dear. We'd be happy to share. Thanks. Can I, like... Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's so weird. So confused. We had nine people here. Holy crap. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. Dang it, that's it for me. Ran out of quarters. It is Johnny. Shift your weight from your left to the right as you play. That's called, um... God, who's the guy? Single buttock playing, uh, he called it. He He's done a TED Talk before on why people don't always go for, for classical music because they just un don't understand it. And he's being genuine. Like If you genuinely understand it, then it... Only sitting on half your bum at a time. Exactly. That's, uh, that's literally a TED Talk. Yeah, there's the flow. Now, would you like to try it together like we practiced? Yes. Interesting. Eva, you've checked into your room already? Come sit with us for a while. So, are Neil and the others hanging out there? They've all called it an early night. What a waste of opportunity. Nighttime is prime time. It has been a long trip. They're just resting up for tomorrow. Well, you seem to have energy left yourself. I got some sleep in the car, I think. Thanks for the ride. By the way, it was a surprise seeing you guys at the airport. I know, I know. It's going over the line for us to come. It was so strange. It felt like we haven't seen him in forever and we just had to come by. <laughs> Should have never seen him at all. I don't remember what happened to Quincy, but I know Linry is supposed to be dead, I'm fairly certain. I'm pretty sure she died during childbirth. I don't- now I have to go re replay the old ones, dang it. He barely returns my calls. Just a reminder to everybody that uh, there are incentives below the stream to donate. If you'd like to, uh, to trigger any of those, there's cool stuff going on. Remember, it's all for charity. I don't touch the money at all. It's cool stuff. You can make me do another D20 of sauce to dip a nugget into something potentially gross. Check out the list, the D20 of sauce list below. Whatever I land on with a D20, I gotta eat it. Could be gross. Could be nice. That's the risk you take, you know? So, 
<laughs> um, alright. He comes over now and then, but you know, he has his own life now. Uh, you should drag him over more, Eva. It reminds me, um, if you guys are looking for something in particular, if you, if you guys want to make an offer, so to speak, for a donation, like, uh, if you want to make an offer for, uh, for me to do, like, a specific sauce or something or some more push-ups, then you're welcome to do that. I guess push-ups is on the list already again. But, um, if you want to make an offer for something, let me know. Of course, I'm not going to do it until I see the money, but, you know. I'll tell you whether or not I'm willing to do it for whatever amount of money. So anyway, just drag him over more, Eva. You uh, you came over more often to hang out with him back then than he comes over to visit us now. I still remember getting excited thinking he was bringing over his girlfriend. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. It's very cool. What's better than a girlfriend, a girl friend? Wait a minute. Did you friend zone him? That's not a real thing. Of course it is, right? Uh, I don't know. It's complicated. Ooh, 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 ooh. The concept of a friend zone, I mean, not between Neil and me. Uh, uh, oh. Of course, sorry we got ahead of ourselves here. You know, it has been a long while since I've seen you two. How's the empty nest going? You've been busy, that's for sure. He means he's busy planning to travel the world once more. I'm going to visit all the exotic places humanity has ever known. At it again, huh? You bet. He'll and Linry get enough kicks from digital replicas, but me. I gotta have the real thing, I'll tell ya. Please, for the nth time, you would not be able to tell in such a simulation. Hun, let's not start this debate again. What about you? How are you keeping occupied? First, I'm going to have to go with him just to, you know, keep him in check. When we get back, though, I want to pick up where I left off all those years ago. Some independent research, maybe even start a small academy. Interesting. With all the tools available nowadays, it's possible to make a difference without, uh, even without grand backings. Fair. And with what you two do at Sigmund Corp, it's kind of inspiring, really. If you ever want some inside help, call me up. NDA withstanding, that is. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hey! Thank you so much. I don't know why the, um... Thanks, Revan Master. I don't know why it didn't just show up on the thing. I guess half of it did. That's so weird. It just came up over there. I did just also get an email. Now I'm concerned as to why it didn't pop up on the guy. Why did it not come up on the, um... Thank you so much, Revan Master. I really, really appreciate you, as always. Let me figure out why this didn't pop up on the overlay, and I'll warm up a nugget and see what I can do here. Stream tools, overlays. Edit. Uh, session data. Uh, goals, follower goal, I don't understand, it's showing 40 on my end, it still says 20 down there, what the heck is going on here? If I do extra life, yeah, it works. That's so weird. That's weird. It's not showing up on... It's not updating on the other half. That's so weird. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm very, very, very confused. Extra life ID 537433. 537433, that's right. I'm so confused. Well, I don't know. How do you donate? Well, there's a big old button below the stream. 
uh, that takes you to the actual extra life page. And on there, there's uh, there's some uh, some some different ways to do that. Even I'm not sure why I didn't uh, come up with the big old guy, and I'm not quite sure why. There we go. Now it's showing that at least. Okay. Guys, I shall return in just a second here. Um, what about the sauce? I choose it as a shortcut. Bro. Bro, are you sure? Like, I'll do a sauce. I'll do a Let's see. Let's see what I roll. How about that? Roll the dice and do push-ups? Interesting. Okay. You know, I'm willing to do that. I hate push-ups, but I'm willing to do it for you, Revan Master. Only for you. If it was anybody else, they would be flying a kite. But only for you, Revan. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have waited to switch the thing until... Okay, here we go. You ready? Legal D20. Boink. Oh, oh. That's a tilt. It's jammed back there. You see that? It's not... It's not really flat, so let's roll that again. That was a tilt, and that was also mostly a three. That ain't very good. Nine? That's a nine? Okay, so we are going to do nine push-ups here in just a second. Let me um, get my headphones off and all that, and we'll be doing nine push-ups. Okay. <laughs> Make me some room here. Okay, everybody. Here we go again. Hi. Hope I'm the most awkward camera angle you've ever seen in your life. Again, hello. I'm on my hands and knees doing push-ups for you guys. My nasty floor. Okay, here we go. Nine push-ups. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, God, I'm out of shape. Okay. Regular webcam. Let's get back in our chair. Ugh. Doing a light workout because my shoulder's been bothering me. I'm doing a light workout because I'm fat as fuck. So... It's one of those we are not the same things, but, uh, okay. Okay. Let's quickly get back into to the moon. I'd like to finish this game. It's one of the, it's like a side episode, so we should hopefully be able to finish it before CAD in two hours, I'm hoping. Okay. Oh, man. That hurt. It's almost like that's how exercise goes okay Whew. we've got uh desktop here we go i'll keep that in mind uh i want to ask about neil let's let's ask that neil still comes over sometimes how does he seem to be doing when he does what do you mean you see him <laughs> way more than us nowadays yeah but you know how it is ever since the operation I just want to make sure he's okay. <coughs> Why does he not seem to be? I don't know. I suppose he is, but... Oh! I'm sorry. I don't know why I asked that. <coughs> See? We're definitely in the machine. The thing about it, it seems to be fine. He seems to be more fine than ever, actually. Someone modifying Eva's character... Seems to be happy when he comes over. Of course he's fine. The only thing that's not fine is the fact that he's not coming to visit enough. Okay. He's just acting like a teenager. Kind of saw you'd like. Thank you, Eva. Okay. I'm very... Who's this lady? Has this lady got something for me, actually? Well, I can store me time in a bottle and save it for a rainy day.
Okay. Cafeteria is no longer being served, but please feel free to hang around there. Okay. Uh, had a year of working out since the first, but with this shoulder pain, I've been lacking in sleep on top of getting woke up by noises. That makes sense. I get that. What is this? It's arcade. I mean, what game? Arcade. The game is called Arcade. Um, plays the average arcade endurer trying to find the biggest game in the arcade. The best game, sorry. The game is none other than the arcade itself. What? Simple. You find arcade in the arcade, and then you play more arcade inside that arcade. But just give it a try yourself and experience the magic. If you still don't get it, just talk to me for some hints. Not to brag, but I've been playing this game so much that I practically built it. Sure, why not? When in doubt, just ignore everything else and only look for the pink machines. Where's the any key? I'm very... I'm very clearly Neil. Um... Oh my, I move very fast. I move very fast. Okay. I move very fast. My phone just went off. The Krantz family. Hey, thank you so much. Improvised song. You had fun. Um, I think, mm, I think we're just gonna, I think Arcade is fine. Okay, we need an improvised song. Um, I suck at singing. Uh, Kranz family, I believe that is you, Sydney, yeah? Sydney, is that you? Right? I gave double bags for blood last Sunday at my church. That might be why you're wrecked now. Uh, well, I hope you feel better, Revenge Master. Sydney! Sydney and Lucas! Sydney and Lucas! What a wonderful donation for the kids. <laughs> I told you it was improvised. I didn't tell you it was going to be good. Thank you so much. That I can't sing with River and Johnny playing this. Thank you. Uh, go back up the room. Thank you for your wonderful donation. Does not sound like real snores at all. Zzz. Eva. Okay, we're about to get into some story here. Um, I don't have any better, um, yeah, I can't think of any other words. Uh, the kids are better because of you. Oh, hey, uh, come by for a moment if you would. Robert. Robert, you're a married man, I, I think. Maybe, I don't know. So, what did you want to say? What do you want in life, Eva? Uh, what do I want in life? I'm pretty sure vacations for getting away from questions like that. Some, perhaps, but it's also some of the only moment you have to ponder away from the clockwork. Just humor me, will you? Well, just the normal things, like most people. Be reasonably happy, find meaning and peace, things like that. Good, remember the big picture. Sometimes we get stuck in a small part of what we want and we stop seeing the whole. That's it. Thanks for coming by. That's it? That's all you wanted to say? Thanks for hearing me. There's not much more I can say like this. You speak as if someone's watching us. I'm sorry. I think I'm just a bit tired from the trip. Alright. Not much more I can say like this? As in, like, because you're not real? As your a simulation. Was that plant there before? Guys, was that plant there before? Someone go back and see. Was this plant there before? I feel like that plant was not there last time. 
There's already... Wait. Hang on. Did you guys see that? There's already shoes here. Oh, our stuff was already brought up. That's right. Someone said our stuff's already brought up. Go down the balcony. End of the night. <laughs> Is Neil over on the next one? Over here. Is Neil over here? It's gonna be. There he is. Is he wearing socks with flip-flops on? <laughs> He's just like, what, meditating? I mean, I wear them with sandals. That's cursed. He meditate the entire night? The fuck? You see that? Interesting. Don't forget to get the ones in the back, Eva. Um. Oh, for the... Surprise! Uh, I have to since I can't wear shoes, but I'm avoiding blisters with socks. Okay, that's fine. That's not as cursed. Eva? You're the wrong way, dumbass. That's some really good uh, animation there. It was perfect execution right until the end. I beg to differ. You sure seem well wristed at least. Gotta be in order to make the most of our uh, of one vacation. We're gonna have the blah 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 blah. blah. Blah, blah. Gotta be in order to make the most of the one vacation we're gonna have all year. I also just realized I need to do like a blanket thank you to everybody who has donated so far. I really appreciate everybody. That's really cool of everybody. Like, I really appreciate it. Also, what the heck? Why is the extra life goal not updating? I'm very upset. Hang on. Why is the extra life goal not updating on the bottom right there? It's supposed to automatically update. I don't understand. Overlays. Why is it not automatically updating? Yeah, what? I don't get it. Do I have to, like... Session data. Goals. Um... Session data... Um... Oh, I forgot. I'm not actually showing the, um... There's a dock activity feed. Probably should show that too, huh? Okay. Um. Yeah, it's weird. It's not. Well, now it's not there at all. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. It still says 40. What the heck? Does it only refresh every few minutes? Is that what it is? Um... Is that what it is? It has to be... Like... I'm very confused. Well, guys, I apologize. I don't know why it's not updating down there. 
I guess we'll have to deal with it. Maybe it'll just fix itself later. I don't know. Gotta be in order to make the most of one vacation we're gonna have all year. I'm gonna squeeze every drop out of this day like it's the last lemon in the world. I guess that's one way to deal with what life gives you. When life gives you lemons, squeeze every drop out of it. Are Roxy and Rob up yet? You kidding me? Roxy's been up since sunrise. And Rob, I don't think Rob even sleeps. No, he did not. They're downstairs already. All right, let's go find them. Oh, I'm pretty sure they'll find us. Um, we're gonna go to Neil's room. Fridge does not match door. My room, there's nothing to see there. You sure? Ooh, can we sneak into... Oh, no, Sarah's already. It's, okay, it's not gonna let us examine... Excuse me. Reading a book in the elevator? That's really weird. And you are here. What the? Have you been waiting in the elevator all morning? No, I wasn't waiting. I was reading. The elevator goes up, comes down, and then up again. It's really no different from life itself. Is it, Rob? Is it really? Anyhow, to read in such a place has been a thrill. Now that you're here, let's go find Roxanne. All right. Do you know where she is? No, which is strange, since it's usually harder to be where she isn't. Well, guess we're playing Roxy Roulette. Um, rooftop. Oh, man, everybody's up here, including Neil's parents. Okay. It's very pretty music out here. Is there something under there? No? Okay. Um. That's rice spot. And ice bucket and a cool noodle. Mmm. Ice and bottles in there. But it smells really good for some reason. That's. That's rice spot and the cat. What's the cat's name? I forget. There's a lot to do with previous games here, and I'm wondering what the hell's going on. You again. Still waiting for whatever? No, not really. Although, did you know there were phytoplankton at the beach late last night? A couple of hours after you stopped by. The glowing kind? Yeah, it was nice. You should go see it. How do you know it's still going to be... It's still going to show tonight. Not tonight. Last night. Interesting. Let's sketch the ocean. This lady came by. She's like someone I drew for work, so I just made a sketch flexibly. Wanna see it? Interesting. This must be regular, like real artwork. Um why is there like a... I, that's interesting that I... Okay. Thanks for checking it out. And now that that's out of the way, it's time for some epic gotcha pulls. This is all very interesting. I'm very... confused as to what's going on here. Like floor, lobby... You know, maybe I should click, should have clicked basement, but it's fine. Can I click basement right quick? She might be in the basement. Code 17 incident, what? Okay. Um, where did we go? Oh, I did not mean to come up here. I pressed escape. So it must have just done it anyway. We'll go back down. It's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Lobby. Interesting um, music. Who are these people down here? Hello? I say we go to the lighthouse. It's like a temple of sorts. Well, I say we go to the extreme beach. It's actually fun for a change. What do you think, Isla? 
Don't put the pressure on her. She's clearly extreme. Interesting. What do we got up here? Snacks are nice, but the breakfast was epic. I suppose that's because we missed it. Can't believe I missed breakfast hours. I left, uh, it left without a trace. Interesting. I don't know how to play the piano, right? I know that. When you're... You're Asian. Oof. It's kind of racist, Neil. Hey, it's a positive stereotype. He was right. The color of my skin has nothing to do with what I do. But yes, I do play the piano. See? Would you like to hear it? I mean, sure. That'd be nice. Oh, good. Why did I ask? Oh, God. Why did I ask? Sorry. Okay, here I go. It's been a while, though, so I'm a little rusty. Popsticks. Excuse me? He said it, not me. It's the piece. Then its name is Chopsticks. Oh. Do you know how to play anything else? No, only Chopsticks. Um. Would you like to hear it again? That's that's okay, thanks. Cool. Always happy to perform. Thanks, Robert. Is the store open? Wow, that's very sparkly. That's so neat. Didn't know plants came in jellyfish form. Inverted planters, clever use. I wonder if they sell them in there. Oh, hang on. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, there. It's not for sale. I'm just waiting. The LARP con won't be happening here for another week, but I'm patient. Collection of jellyfish like inverted planters. Is the ones hanging at the entrance, right? Seems like it. Ooh, excuse me. You want to get one? I mean, I kind of swore buying things, buying things from souvenir shops. Plus, it'd be a hassle to bring back. It's beautiful, though. Hmm. She's probably over by the beach. Roxanne, that is. Roxanne. It's a pretty resort. Anybody to talk to? Guys sleeping in the grass next to a, like what I would guess is a busy road. Kind of odd. Huh. So I'm just trying to find extras, you know? You know what I mean? There's a Sigmund bike there, which is interesting. Um, that's a fourth wall break, but these are literally all the characters from like the previous games. Carola, life savings on that dance lesson. She's making the most of it. That's a third. That's a fourth wall break. There's a character from previous game, but that's a fourth wall break. Saying, oh, we didn't have the budget at the time. That's meaning that they could pay somebody this time to make her dance like that, the character dance like that. Well, that isn't really my problem now, is it? Of course it is. It's your watermelon pile. And it's your watermelon. Hey, what's going on here? Bay! Well, this young lady here dropped her watermelon on my pile in shock. Why is Faye here? And now she's blaming me for not knowing which one is hers. It's my special watermelon. I practically carried it in me for a whole six-hour flight. If it's so special, why can't you tell it apart from the rest of them? Because it's a stupid watermelon. Their birth are adopted. What truly matters for watermelons is responsibility. That's not helping, Rob. Why is Faye here? Okay, look, maybe we could help take a... Wait a minute, let me see that. Hey, yeah, I recognize which one it is. 
Really? Duh. See this pattern over here? That's the one yours had. Oh. Oh. Oof, thanks, Neil. I'm gonna hide it in a safe spot for good this time. Kicking it around? Psst. Is that really the one? Yeah, who knows. Nice. Alrighty, so what are we doing? Guess uh, we were just grouping up with you, but now that's a check mark. Spent all morning uh, looking through the tourism booklets and blogs. Allow me. What? Um, do I have a map choice? Do you have a choice? Extreme Beach, which offers paragliding, competitive power surfing. Hell yeah! Cliffside Lighthouse. Prime spot for ocean watching and local history. One star restaurant nearby. We could go for lunch. Sounds terrible. It's one Michelin star. Oh, oh. The rubber tire? Anyway, uh, moving on to weather planning. Sunny skies from morning till noon. Then the afternoon with a brief period of rain. Sky clears after that. We'll watch the sunset from this beach at the end of the day. Interesting. So there you have it. Our day ahead of us. To get started, we can wait for the bus at the stop in front of the hotel street side. Thanks, Rob. That's pretty comprehensive. Oh, I do have something planned for us, too. It's actually just inside the hotel. We can get back there when we're ready. Indoors? I guess we can do it when it's raining in the afternoon. I mean, that's one boring way to do it. Whatever, I guess. Tell you the day started, then? Yeah, let's check out the beach first. I hear there's an interesting area on, uh, to the side, too. Wait, where did the lady go? It's Faye. How does Eva not know who Faye is? I'm very confused here. That's, um, at the top. There's fucking... What the hell is going on here? Rue Dog's off to the right side, along with, um... Shit. I forget the guy's name. Who should just take one. I cheat on my watermelon. That's not how it works. It's your watermelon, not mine. In fact, that's not how any of that works. It's a couple from um, Finding Paradise. Right there. What the hell's going on? Recreational Beach, the, right, the Beach of Memories. What the hell? Rudog, Rorf. Oh no, we're trapped. We aren't trapped. We're ancient titans buried beneath the castle walls, of course. Sophia. Colin, that's right. Where's the bus headed? Extreme Beach. What's Rude Dog getting? Rude Dog? Digging something up. It's a Rude Dog um, sand castle thing. Um, not sure how I feel about that. Beach of Memories. Hey, hey, over here. You know, this part of the beach is particularly special. There's thousands of messages from all over the world are buried beneath the sand here. Here you're gonna need this beach scanner. Walking to scan messages buried on this beach. I hope I hope everything's appropriate. Just remember to put them back whenever you read one. Why isn't she going back to her watermelon stand? I don't know, Roxy, I don't know. Oh, Beach Scanner found a buried note. Oh, from Telemarketer, that's cool. Buried note. R Remy. From Remy. <laughs> nice. Okay. That's cool. It's a giant... What? Memories have the power to shape our desires and dreams. This is all the messages about the Kickstarter to the souls I have encountered. Even though our paths may not cross as often as before, please know that you are not forgotten. Hold our memories close and I wish you nothing but happiness. I told you I'm going to cry, gosh dang it. Good morning, afternoon, or evening to whoever is reading this. How are you? Hope you're having a good day enjoying yourself with the game. Don't worry, Silk Song will be out soon. Uh, Myra Mama, I, I cannot read that, I apologize. 
telemarketer go away. Okay. Uh... The whole scene may turn to chaos, and you may be shaken by the waves. Remember to stay who you are for everyone. You're still an anchor. <laughs> the sea cow. Interesting. Knowing that you're having a relaxing time on the beach fills you with determination. You're smiling. You're doing it wrong. This applies in everything you do. May the Pongchich be with you? Pongchi? Interesting. That's cool. I was wondering how they were going to incorporate um, those messages into the game. I like that. Play music. Mixtape 1. Welcome to Memory Beach, a treasure trove of thoughts from all over the world. One more. What would it be like to not know myself? Can you recall asking, despite knowing there is only one of us here, I seem to have forgotten that life is simply an answer to that one particular question. Huh. Okay. Very interesting. So I like how this is open-ended. I'm not quite sure where to go from here, though. So, apparently, we can go paragliding, we can go... Okay, wait for the bus, yes. I don't know where to go first, though. Should we go to the lighthouse? Well, it's daytime, or should we wait for the... Okay. So it's morning. Where do we go? Left a resort. One-star restaurant, extreme sports beach, cliffside lighthouse. Should we go to the lighthouse in the morning? Should we go while it's raining? I feel like while it's raining might be a good idea. Extreme Sports Beach. Let's do this. Yes. Let's see how this goes here. This is going to be interesting. This is the Extreme Sport, uh, the Extreme Beach. So extreme about it anyway. E-foil surfing, that's what. What? So you surf on a surfboard with an electric motor. Didn't you get the email? We've been practicing. How's your progress coming along, Eva? I'm doing okay. Don't worry, I'll be sure to give a refresher demo. Or rather, a fresher demo for you, Neil. Interesting. Alrighty, let's go already. Our books, our booking's ready at the dock. Interesting. Oh my. Too extreme for me. Just gonna stay up being the arcade. <laughs> oh, there's um, what's the name again? Welcome to the extreme beach. Power surfing is just down the dock. Parasailing. The instructor is late again, so we'll be waiting. I'm very, very confused. Welcome. I have your booking and file under the name Roxanne Winters. Mm hmm. Being featured, featured for extreme beach. I have to warn you. And you're about to embark on is extremely dangerous. But don't worry, you've all signed your waiver, so it's okay. Wait, what waiver? Don't worry, I already signed for you. You what? And now, are we ready to surf? Hell yeah. Great, let's get you your equipment. Don't worry, Neil. I will teach you my ways. That kind of thing is exactly what I'm worried about. Let's do it. Ooh. Why are we even doing this? Standing up like a badass. Oh, good, you're still alive. Let's practice your maneuvering. Uh, you have to keep moving to keep up with me. By the way, you can press the button for a speed boost. What button? Oh, it's shift. Oh, that button. Good. You're practically invincible while, when boosting. Now come next to me. Why? I have something to teach you, that's why. Just hit me, that's assault. No, it's fine because we're on international waters. Oh, right. Wait. Now hit me back. What? Go ahead and hit me. Oh, you bet I will. What the fuck? You can't hit me, I'm too fast. 
But here, I'll slow down for the sake of fairness. Hit me again and try to knock me off. Ooh, yeah, that'll show him. Oh, Rob. I'm fine. It's part of life. <laughs> Are you ready to continue? Sure. Yeah, I think I got it. Wait, what's that? Let's make this interesting. Um, come and get the lobster. Okay. Well done. It's noble goal to get as many golden lobsters as possible. Have fun without us already. Seem to be getting hang of it. I'm hanging on, all right. Okie dokie, Loki pokey, and now it's time to rumble. I um select your character. Oh my. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like Robert is a good balance. Attack, palm strike, melee, reach forward and sideways, try medium. Forward and backward. Let's go with Eva. I'm because I'm concerned as to what the hell's going on. Let's do it. Oh my. He throws it! Ah, uh, no, I... Ah, oh, dang it. Ow. Interesting. I don't like her attack. I don't like her attack. Dang it! I did have. I have not gotten a single lobster. They keep beating me to the lobsters. Ow! Give me a lobster. Dang it! I can't get up there fast enough. You're practically invincible when boosting, they keep saying. Yeah, I got a lobster. I just got a text message or something, but I... Ow. Texted me. Go away. Uh, I should not have chosen Rosaline. I think Neo would have been a much better option. Freaking what's her name? Uh, Roxanne Gib. Oh, damn. Lunar Roxy. Damn it. His power of friendship to beat my friends. <laughs> That's cool. Nice. All right, that was extreme. You picked it up quickly, Neil. Yeah, I found my way. I mean, it came at the cost of your dignity, but if it fits, it works. Yeah, yeah, anyway, can we go now? Oh, I mean, we could. But I'm almost down for more rounds of you, Eva. If you do, just talk to me. Spectator mode, interesting. Okay. This guy's got a peg leg. On the ocean, sometimes we ride the wave, sometimes we wipe out. Just make sure to remember where the shore is and don't provoke sharks. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. How's everybody doing out there? Everyone's still alive? We still good? Everyone's still alive? We all still good? the next day now or next portion I guess um restaurant ah it's lunchtime I apologize 
In and out with the garage if help is needed. I got you. Let's see. Okay. Statue of an explorer from long ago. Colonizer! Whoa there. Although, yeah. But there's nuance to it. An interesting thought, though, to leave a statue of yourself long after you're gone, just to be remembered for better or worse. It's an inanimate slab of rock for people to point to and mock. A bit, of a bit desperate, if you ask me, aren't we all sometimes? That's fair. I think we can leave much more. Still trying to figure out what's going on here, you know? Is it the same dialogue? Good job on that bum, though. Hmm. Oof. <laughs> Got it. Okay, is this the restaurant over here? Hello. Uh, Winter's Reservation, please. Winters, a Roxanne Winters. That's right. Reservation is at 1226. Exactly 365 days from today. What? Did you misclick the year when booking, Roxy? Can we just take a table that's available? There are no tables available. There's an empty table right there. The table is never empty without a reservation. That doesn't even make sense. Excuse me. Hello? Yes? Yes. The first reservation in the name of Zanta has not shown up. Uh, apparently they accidentally booked too early by a year. What? You'd like to switch reservations with them? Yes. Certainly. In you go. It's funny. Indoors or outdoors, feel free to sit. Open table of your choosing. Doesn't sound very reserved at all. Um... Drop by and say hi already. Old friend from school, blah blah. And that would be weird. I don't want to bother them. Sure, it's your call. So confused. I don't know what I just clicked on. I apologize. What? You jealous? That'd be silly. Hmm, you think she'd be jealous of me? That would be silly. Red, and your main course. Here's the ice cream entree. Booyah. Would you like some fresh ground pepper with that? Wait, no, sorry, old habits. Ah, oh, shucks, let me have it. As you wish. Um. Interesting. This is what Vake is all about. No rules. What about... Your rule to break all rules. I broke it. Fair enough. Food here isn't bad. Maybe we can get management to send us here more often. For research, of course. Our parents would appreciate our expertise in this field. Place is like a dream. It tastes like it, and this ice cream is just icing on the cake. How's yours, Neil? The one star is a little humble of them. Look at these avocados, three and a half. Three Michelin stars is the most you can get. What is this? Free to play mobile game? Not to complain, but I'm surprised no one ordered the lobster. Oh yeah, apparently it's to die for. Death is the reason why I'd be ashamed to eat them. Hmm? You know lobsters are immortal. Actually... Oh god, here we go. Forget I said that. Actually, lobsters are not truly immortal. It's a myth. Well, they lack typical signs of uh, sentience. Their indefinite growth is their downfall. In fact, as they grow larger, eventually they die from the energy required to melt, molt their shell. That fact isn't fun at all. I guess well, that being said, so-called biological immortality does exist in nature. One such rare example of true immortality would be... Don't worry, we're right here for you. We'll always be. Neil's gone. He's not in here. 
You shouldn't go back so soon. It's important to change your surroundings. Jellyfish. Certain types of jellyfish are immortal. That's right. When deteriorating, they can revert back to infancy. 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 What the fuck is wrong with me? Infancy. And replace any and all of their cells. They're considered immortal, but they essentially reconstruct themselves. So whether it's still them afterward, despite the same DNA, is up for debate. My brain hurts so bad. Certainly neurons and cells of the heart stay with us until we die. The brain and the heart, huh? It's kind of romantic. I don't think it is. I just think it'd be nice if we could replace them too. Alright, that was good stuffing. Indeed, one Michelin star experience. I will be leaving a satisfactory review. I did finish my course. I'll give them that. Let's walk it off wherever we're going next. Eva? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. I'm very confused. Some more to explore over here? No. Okay. I'm very confused. Also, I'm still upset that my my goal bar under my face isn't working. I don't know how to fix that. It's rainy. I went. I, I went. I want to go to the lighthouse. Uh, the lighthouse. Yes. Yeah. Here we are. The scenic local lighthouse. And uh, yes, perfect lightning rod to be inside of during a storm. You guys have a patient who lived at a lighthouse. We did. Come to think of it. Let's go see all the way to the top. I am very... Uh, Euphony Lighthouse Strange. I swear the name of the place was just the Cliffside Lighthouse. I'm so confused as to... Um, yeah, it's Tommy and Sarah, I think. I don't remember their names. Let me lay out some memory of Jordan Euphony Bear. Forward to the stars together. I was expecting it to be a complete remake of, um, Anya. But... Okay, 17, I'm so screwed. Go upstairs. Power is confirmed functional. It even has a backup power draw, but still. Problem must be more severe than I feared. What's going on here? Lighthouse, it's broken. I tried switching new bulbs, not just once, but twice, and it still didn't work. A lot of ideas. Oh, this is terrible. I have something to do with the socket base. More, uh, more specifically, the contact tabs. This model are prone to corrosion. Contact tabs. Hey, mind if we take a look? Oh, she's right. These tabs are not registering. There's some displacement, too. No wonder it's disconnecting. That was a quick assessment, young lady. Are you an electrician? No. But she would know. She's seen and studied a lot of lighthouses, inside and out. Oh, thank God you came along. I'm surprised you didn't catch it, though. I... I... That's rude, Roxanne. I mean, I just figured a real lighthouse keeper would... I can't take the pressure anymore. You've caught me. I'm not a real lighthouse keeper. I'm just lighthouse keeping for a friend. I'm just some guy. <laughs> some guy named Guy. I like that. And this beard, it's not even my real beard. 
God damn it. This is something Brandon would love. Brandon would love this. It's the beard of the real lighthouse keeper. The real lighthouse keeper is okay though, right? Yeah, yeah, he's just on vacation and lent me to the prop. Let me the prop. He'll be back next week. Uh, wow, we anyways, be able to help us fix it. Easy peasy. Yeah, we can salvage enough copper here for the contact. We do need some solder and a soldering iron though. Oh, I think I know a guy. His name is Dave. Blue hair hangs out at the extreme beach. I've seen him working on his speedboat with it sometimes. All right, let's give him a call. I don't have a phone. Never got his number. You what? I'm trying to be in character as a lighthouse keeper. It's not how real light lighthouse keepers are. That's fine. We'll just give him a visit then. Neil? Hey, yeah, I didn't sign up to be a hero, but no point in escaping fate. Like a ride there. Got a rental car. Sure, thanks. Hold the fort then. Good luck. Interesting. So, what do you guys do? For a living? Yeah, don't mean to be to prod. There's a certain physical aura about your group, mystical aura about your group. Man, maybe I really should stop with the sandals on socks. Don't bring too much attention. I'm curious too. So, is this all actual memories? Is this like how Johnny and River learned about Sigmund Corp? Is this like years before? They don't look, uh, Eva and Neil don't look younger. You know how to fix lighthouses, but you don't seem like most electricians. Well, we're doctors of some sort. And detectives of the bestest sort. The bestest detectives, that is correct. Uh, more like the controversial sort. Herman Corp? Uh, that's our competitor, but you're on the right track. Segment Corp. Then I thought you all were an urban legend. Is it really true? Can you guys really give people another chance to live? In a manner of speaking, sure. All in your head, of course. We don't actually resurrect zombies. No offense, but I've always wondered about the people who use the service. I mean, to change their entire life's worth of memories. It just seems so wrong. Yes, I don't see the point of it myself. It would be like lying to yourself about things that never happened. It doesn't change the reality of things one bit. That being said, I've learned that just because I don't care for something, sometimes other people do. And that's fine. If someone wants to do it for themselves, I think we should respect their choice. Even and sometimes especially if we might not understand it. I suppose so. I guess I just don't know if I'd ever consider something like that myself. Maybe if there's a big reason. Or if I'm really desperate. I can't imagine... I can't imagine what that could possibly be, though. How doesn't she know? Dave, there he is. Solder, soldering iron, right? Only got a soldering pen here, but should do the job. Awesome, thanks. Thanks, Dave. What the sh Don't call me that name here. We use our cool names on this beach. Call me The Wave. Dave The Wave, huh? We still good over here on the... Dunno page, I'm sorry. Okay, we're still we're still on track here. We're still on track. We're almost to our next incentive, guys. Almost. Five dollars short of our of our next incentive. I'm still what the heck is going on with this um overlay? I'm so confused. Why is it not showing up? Yeah, it's not like...
Now, like, is there a way to refresh it? If I... And also, the donation bit, like, that's a fake one. Why is that, like, not coming up when people actually donate? I'm so confused. That's why that's not actually working. Um... <sighs> Settings. Oh, the ID for the that thing is wrong. Okay, five three seven four three three. Hopefully, hopefully that'll work now. That should work now. Okay. What about this guy? Why is this guy not working? This guy, I don't know. If I, like, hide it? No? I'm so confused, guys. I'm so confused. Oh. Session data. Settings. Okay, well, I guess it's not a big deal. Thank you, the wave. Hey, you're welcome. I'm so confused. Ooh! A bird just came and grabbed the soldering iron. That's weird. Oh no, the soldering bag. Is that a hawk just... That is not cool. Did someone ask for a hero? Instructor Barry! Barry, you're late for work with the parasailing again. All due respect, Dave, it looks like I came just in time. Colin, I... Don't know why you're here, but come with me. Got the data save. Okay. Everyone's got the cool names except for Instructor Barry. <laughs> Hang on there, I'm gonna get us closer to it. Hold up or down. Okay. Hey Barry, can you go any faster? This is the max trim I could handle. I'm gonna flip if we go any faster. It's getting away. Hi, Faye. Did anyone ask for a hero? Hey, wait, you. You look like. Just focus on that bird. I'm gonna get us closer. Okay. Hey, spare the seat. What? Okay, don't shoot. Watch out for the goals. Hitting them would slow us down. Worst wingman ever. Okay. Uh, 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 this is kind of hard, actually. Um, just stay up, I guess. We're just gonna stay. Ah, uh. Gib Gib. Got it. Oh, man. Okay, there you go, all in one piece. Thank you. Those are some awesome moves up there. Hey, thanks. Mostly the boat driver. Wait. Um, Miss Connie. Oh, I think you got the wrong purse. Uh, yes, Miss Connie. Huh? Wait a minute. Is Connie our high school math class teacher? Yeah, we're when I shared a desk together in her class. Before I moved, then you two became desk mates. No wonder I rec- I think I did recognize the high school. Yes, I remember now. Got into a lot of trouble. I mean, you got us into a lot of trouble. She used to throw paper planes I made at the teacher whenever I uh, wasn't looking. 
also threw the ones I made. Yeah, which she also blamed me for. You're still doing all those, uh, doodling all those lighthouses and platypuses. Yes. You still remember. Okay, sure is all coming back to me now. Hey, you, you know what? Thank you for what you did back then. We just started spending more time together then. And when you let your seat to me, well, it really helped me get to know her better. And it was one of the best semesters because of it. Hey, I'm glad to see you both. Looks like things worked out. I still have the book. Hmm? Yeah, hmm? The origami book. Oh, you're the one who taught me how to fold origami. Thank you for that. What the fuck is... <coughs> it's always a joy to share. Hey, Dad, I think I see a walrus. It's not a walrus. It's just a dolphin playing with a pufferfish atop a humpback whale. You have a great time, okay? Sure made my day running into you both. Thanks, Colin. Hope you and your family have a nice time out here. Who is that on the top right, though? Should I recognize them? Is supposed to? Am I supposed to recognize on the top right? Cool. So my uh, my co-star, my my special guest, is ready for an, uh, to stream in an hour. I can't wait. I don't know if he's here in chat or not, but either way, uh, he is ready and waiting uh, for uh, for our uh, ad event in an hour. So, okay, let's see if we can't... We gotta knock this out, though. They're good as new. Okay, we gotta, we gotta speed through this. My brain's gonna hurt. I might miss something, but we're gonna try to speed through this. I wanna finish it. If we don't finish it, then I guess I'll have to pick it up, like, tomorrow or something. It was good as new before you whacked it with the wrench. This is amazing. Thank heavens we got it fixed before nightfall. Yep, glad we avoided... God, glad... I can't English, apparently. Glad we avoided catastrophe and all. I owe it to you all. You're the real deal. You really didn't have to do that, guy. Huh? You don't have to try and act like a lighthouse keeper. I don't know what you think a lighthouse keeper should be, but... It shouldn't be something that boxes you in. All you have to be is someone who takes care of the lighthouse. By doing what you do, you are a lighthouse keeper. Well, you know, just hearing you say that, I... I... I feel it. What the, I feel like a lighthouse keeper. What the heck just happened? The spirit, I can't take it off anymore. What the heck is this game? Whoa, what just happened? Alright. Uh, I don't know, but something just changed. I jest, but truly. Nice. Uh... Thank you, young lady. You know, I actually don't mind this. It's uh, growing on me like the beard. Maybe I'll ask my friend about uh, helping out here more often. Hey, if you need help, please feel free to reach out to us too, right, River? Yeah, we'll learn about it together. Thanks, you two. I would love that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Another day saved. Or like another night saved. It's a lighthouse. By the way, I guess you can say we lit up this day. Beacon of Hope, even. One that revolves around... I'm trying to one-up Rob, Neil. No. I'm celebrating too early, my comrades. The day's not over yet. Shall we head back to the bus stop? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm very, very conf... Hang on. I gotta make sure that there's not dialogue I'm missing between the two of them here. Sure made the trip, huh? I'm very glad. This place is special. The owner of this lighthouse. He's the one who also designed Anya. <laughs> Damn it! Khan! Really? He passed away some time ago, and this is one of his earliest works. That's cool. 
a hero of mine. Lighthouses are really cool. I've never really seen one in person, I don't think. Not like a real one, not like a big one like that. Or one that actually has any kind of um, real use. Wait for the bus, yes. Alright, I think we're supposed to go back to the hotel now. So we will see. I'm so upset about the, the thing in the bottom. I, I don't know why it's not showing the updated donation total. It makes me upset. Um, let's just remove it now, I guess, if it's not going to work. Make me feel better. Okay. Ooh, cloudy day, huh? Okay. We're supposed to go back to the beach, I believe. Right? That's what we were supposed to do for the, for the sunset? Sunset on the beach? Someone's painting? What are you painting? Sunman, the sunset. It's painting how it will be, and now I'm painting how it is. Interesting, this poor guy. What's up? You know, I was just taking a walk here last night when the most terrible thing happened. Out of nowhere, a telescope came down from the sky and hit me on the head. God damn it. Yep. Nope. Well, if you ever find out, let me know. Yep. Funny. Are we supposed to go? Isn't this where, um,. Weren't we supposed to see the sunset here? Surfing? Okay. Same chef from earlier? That's weird. Iced coffee were all out. Interesting. Hey! What's up? Talk to you in a bit. Really interesting game, this. Reminds me of my Sega Master System. <laughs> nice, man. Um, it's a gorgeous game. It's actually the, so this is, I think it's a mini So the original game is called To the Moon. It's like 13 years old now. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, really sad game. Kind of plays more like a, um, like a, like a visual novel. It is a very sad, but very, very beautiful game. Um, if you get some time, absolutely play the original. It's called To the Moon. It's on Steam. I believe it's also on Switch and on phone. And then there's a sequel. I should say there's DLC. I think it's free. There are like two mini episodes. They're worth playing. And then there's Finding Paradise. And then A Bird Story, which is like a mini episode. And then there's um, Imposter Factory, which is the third like official one. And then this, I believe, is another mini episode. I'm thinking. And it's definitely got some lore in it. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. And if we don't finish it by the time it's time for CAD, then I will be playing it again later. I guess we aren't getting away from it, so might as well. Okie dokie, Loki pokey. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Ahem, I said okie dokie, Loki pokey. Hmm? Oh, yes. You guys have fun. I'm going to wait in my room until it's over. What? Alright, let's go. I think Roxanne's trying to set up these two. realize long 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 time ago interesting who's this okay, let's get this party started we're going to the basement we're going to the basement everybody ready if we say no will you let us out <laughs> right again let's do it She's going to the basement. Restricted due to Code 3 incident. Roxy? I knew it. Access override granted. We're in. Mm. You can just hack the elevator by spamming the floor buttons. Roxy, that's not where we're supposed to go. Don't worry, I already checked it out this morning. It's a little messy, but no one's around. There's a lot of fun stuff. Fun stuff like... Wait a minute. This isn't right. This isn't how it was when I was in here earlier. Um, hang on. I'm gonna check it out. Just wait here. I'll be right back. Hey. Oh, good. What could go wrong? This music, man. What the fuck? Dang, she sure took off. 
What's with this place anyway? I don't know what, but something happened here. That's Roxy. Was that Roxy? What the hell's going on here? I want to know what the heck is going on with the story. She's down the hall. Okay. It's locked. Roxy? Should I be worried? This seems worrying. Probably... I'm so confused. What the... Neil? I'm right here. Did the power just go out? Yeah, now this really seems worrying. My phone's upstairs. Ow. Sorry, just trying to find my... I think I dropped my card. Blah, me too, here. So they accidentally swapped cards. I know it. I know they accidentally swapped cards. I bet. Good. That's how you avoid a horror movie scenario. Let's call the front desk. Yeah, let me just pull up their number. And here it is. Wait. There's no signal. I could have told you that. That's not how you avoid a horror movie scenario at all. Hold on. Oh, but I found the hotel Wi-Fi connection. Sweet, just email the front desk then. We didn't think we were in a situation here. Yep, I'm on it. Wait, did you get the Wi-Fi password? Thought you had it. No. How is this game simultaneously hilarious and just terrifying? Also, do I have the right room key? Nine. See, I told you they accidentally swapped. It's hers is nine oh eight. I told you. I told you that they swapped by mistake. Okay, what is this? It's a disembodied mask? Pretty sure we're supposed to see this after the culprit is caught. Like a movie showing down here? There's just a lot of popcorn. What was that? Someone's here. I don't like the... Um... I don't like this. Hello? A golden lobster animatronic. Lock still. Treadmill's running. I don't like this. I can just walk on the treadmill, that's funny. This is so confusing. The locker's empty. What's that sound? The, just the animatronic. Let me, um... Let me go first. Trying to protect me? I'm just tired of you always blocking my views. Okay. Thanks. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm so... It is the animatronic. Okay, I had a feeling. Okay. Yeah, was it like this earlier? Pretty sure the answer is hell no. Something hanging from the eye socket. Small bronze key. How convenient. Unlocked. Man, I'm so confused. Arcade games. This is like a billiard room. They're all covered in lobsters and rust. Can I have a... Hang on. Gumball? Especially like foosballs, that's funny. Let me drink this diet soda. Interesting. I'm very concerned here. More dead lobster animatronics? Um. Supposed to be in your room, bud. Rob? Oh. You're early and you're here. What are you doing here? Don't worry about it. What? Did you see Roxy coming this way? You followed her but got lost. Oh, yes. I think she got kidnapped. It was really scary. Anyway, I don't know where they went. You should go find her. Don't mind me. I don't know if she was relieved or more creeped out. So did Roxy put together this whole thing? Is this a Roxy thing? Did she like... Is it supposed to be like an escape room? And she faked her own kidnapping to make the... What happened? Doesn't seem like much, but the mood feels different. Interesting. Is it supposed to be like an escape room deal? Did she rent out the basement and then, like, 
As I worked alone on the disembodied animatronics, I couldn't help but feel an uneasy gaze from behind me. I turned around, and there they were, staring deep into my soul, but they weren't human eyes. No, they were far worse. Fake eyes drawn on butt cheeks? What the fuck? I think we've read enough. I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on here. Clearly this is, you know, this is like the hotel's, um... I don't know. Oh, and Rob's gone. Okay. More animatronics. Okay, this is a Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff, only with animatronics instead of... Is that what this is? What was that? This is going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic issue, isn't it? A rat. Hello, rat. Hello? Hey, that's... Roxy? Um... Hey, are you okay? Wait, what's that sound? Oh, hello! Get back. Don't let the monster catch you. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear Jesus God. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What's going on? Oh, he's 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 intelligent. Can I run? The door is locked. I don't like that. How am I supposed to how long do I have to last? Okay, a couple more seconds. Oh god, he's just like glitching around. Oh, I lost. Is it going to like jump scare me? Oh, okay. Stop this. You're you're Rob, right? Right? This isn't funny anymore. Drop the act. I know you're Rob. It's Rob. How do you know? Roxy's in the... Yep. No, what are you doing? Oh, right. Sorry. They saw me in the hall earlier. What? You ruined it. I knew it. You're supposed to go, Ooh, monster. Rob's upstairs. So that must be Roxy. Wait, Roxy's right there. Ooh, no. What is this game? I just want... Clearly, this is a memory of an actual event that happened to them. But I need to know the rest of the lore. To be honest, seeing Rob in that wig almost makes it worse. Yeah, I would literally pay to unsee it. It's back. Yeah, they rented out the basement. Stop. You're trespassing in prohibited areas. Police are on their way. You'll never take me alive. What? She didn't pay for it. I can't believe Roxy got arrested. You're kidding me. Can't believe they took her alive. <laughs> um, how did Rob get away with it? Isn't he an accomplice? No, nah, he put his wig on in time, so they just arrest arrested Roxy twice. <laughs> Makes sense. You two, come here for a moment. Okay, so what your friend did is against the law. But it's just so dumb, so seriously dumb, that we're going to let this one slide. <laughs> you really shouldn't. Freedom! You really, really shouldn't. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Don't let her get into trouble again. What the fuck is this game? Cannonball. What the hell is this game? Nothing like a freestyle dip right after avoiding jail time. I need to know the lore! I guess that's that. Did they ever say why the basement got trashed so badly? Yeah, they had a convention there, of course. Must have been uh, one cucumber of a convention. It was a hydroponic gardening convention. Oof, that'll do it. Hey, by the way. The basement toward the end there. I don't know what you're talking about. Push him in. Hey, the day's not done yet. You all ready to move on to what's next? What is next? I'm always... Always ready. Let's go. Actually, you guys go on first. I'm going to stay here for a little bit. I rather like this view. That's fine. We'll group back up just outside the hotel then. Hey, you want to stay for a bit too? 
No, I just got something I need to do first. Take your time here. We'll be downstairs when you're ready. Check out Neil's room. Yeah, okay. I need to know what the hell's going on here. You found us. Sure did. So what are you two up to today? You know, we're probably going to take it easy and stay up here. Catch some sun. Catch some rain. Some rain to catch up on. Got some drinks to demolish. Interesting. Who's that? It's Right Spot. Cooler Master X4000, I think. No, it's Right Spot. We're just using it as a cooler. Someone threw it away and left it on our porch. Which on then, though, makes cool sounds. It came with a pool noodle inside. Perfect. Don't let us anchor you here. There's a lot to do on the island. Go out and have a great day. We already did. I'm so confused. What's... So, is Eva... future Eva or is she in the mem are we playing her as a memory or are we playing her as future Eva which one what the oh hey hey I just forgot something that's all yeah you forgot your room key this is Neil's room. Sure is. I have Neil's room key. You're gonna make me do the whole thing? Okay. Oh, he bought her the flower. Oh, Neil. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Neil, that's cute. What the? Yeah, I have Neil's room. Yeah, I have Neil's room. This is Neil's card, yeah. I already found that out. Do we mix the cards when we drop in the dark? I called it, yeah. Didn't mention it just then. Didn't even try it to notice yet. Maybe I'll just borrow some of his sunscreen instead. Just go in. I need to see what the fuck's going on here. I hope he has answers in there. For God's sake, please. I need to know what's going on here. Oh! Okay. Well, that's where future Neil is interacting, so I am just the memory. So Neil is running this simulation for some reason. Uh, lobby. So Neil is running this as a simulation. We are, we are for sure, Eva in the memory. Whose memory is he in? Is it himself? So I'm setting soon. Now's the time to get a spot on the beach. No, he's in Eva's memories. Duh. Sun's setting soon. Now the time to get a spot on the beach for a nice view. He's in Eva's memories, which is why... And they, they all are. Which is why... Maybe, I don't know. They're all around the bed and she's... She's hearing them. Which is why we had the interruption, the interruption earlier about, Hey, we're all here for you. Be a nice way to end the day. He's trying to use the machine to save her. Dead silent. I don't like that. Nobody else here. I don't like that. Watch the sunset on the beach. There is so much to unpack here. Ah, just in time for the golden hour. Looks crowded already. Let's go find a place. But don't you worry. I already asked Lisa to save us a spot with my watermelon. How does that even work? You just leave a watermelon, a watermelon at your spot. It always works. Well, it never works. Well, I guess this is my last chance. It is time. Keep it low key, but the truth is that over the past year, I've been doing 100 sit ups, 100 push ups, 100 squats, and killing, killing, 
10 kilometer kilom ten, 10 kilometer run every single month and this is the result he's fucking ripped wow you looked the same <laughs> thanks well you know we already saw you shirtless while surfing right dang damn it it's not about whether i'm shirtless it's about how i go shirtless isn't that a one punch reference i don't know i don't remember you're going swimming no i'm just here to watch the sunset okay let's go do that then good job neil where's our spot let's go and what a view huh almost as nice as home better from altitude though that's for sure <coughs> excuse me uh, are you gonna take us there or what i'll put in a word make sure it's a nice word Where's the watermelon? We're supposed to have a watermelon marking our spot, she said. What's this? Okay. It was quite different from floating in the bathtub. Yeah, it's a big salt bath. Really is harder to breathe. Oh yeah, when you're submerged, the water pressure around your body. No. It's the thing that's on my face. That's hilarious. Okay, and that's um Asher and Colin and Sophia. And we come back here every year. Your dad gets assigned to captain the flight here permanently. We could come back every day. Let's not spoil it. Ruff. Good job, your dog. Good boy. There's the watermelon. See, it worked. Everybody stays clear and respects the watermelon's reserved vicinity. Is it a, water <laughs> Is it a watermelon or a bomb? Oh, you silly goose. That was a serious question. I'm concerned. Anyway, we weren't going to whack that watermelon. Uh, weren't we going to whack that watermelon some kind of ritual? Kidding me. I carried it through a plane ride. I'm not letting anything happen to it. It's my baby. Good. That's character development, I think. <laughs> Either way, a perfect end to a perfect day. I think this game's got almost done, too. Whole place for us to sell just the three of us. What? So just the four of us. What? Watch the sunset together and put a perfect end to it. Is one of them not real? Is Eva not real? We saw two of her though. But has he nested memories within memories within memories? Did he create Eva as like a friend in his life that maybe he never had? Okay, so not long or not yet just means we can go talk to a couple more people. Okay. Sensor 16, which is your favorite of all of them? Every single one? This one, of course. Duh. You're both here. Hmm. Okay. End the day and watch the sunset. <clears throat> it's been a nice day. All right, dibs on sitting in the sand. Second dibs. Wait. There were some cool characters in this. Especially all the ones that we've seen before. Trying to wonder what the hell's going on here. Oh, that's beautiful. Four of them. Roxanne, I can't believe the vacay is already over. How many days should it be? Oh no, but probably more than one. Enough to get bored of it, that's how many. Then again, it'd only get boring because we'd remember it. Hey, I know a riddle. Budget vacation or dream vacation, but you don't get to remember it or keep pictures. Like a dream that you forget. Or a nightmare. Budget vacation, I guess. When it at least keeps some memories. Or a dream vacation, but you don't get to remember. So you don't have to live with the consequences. I don't think that's... What were you planning to do in your dream vacay anyway? Not too unlike uh, what we do for a living though, right? 
I mean, our patient's actual lives still meant something despite their altered memories, right? I think we all came to terms with being hypocrites a long time ago. Yeah, non-hypocrites are so sus... So sus. Interesting, I don't know why he, um... Hey, Rob. Uh, you haven't spoken in a while. What are you thinking? Forget him. He's probably conjuring a lecture on getting us back to work tomorrow. I was just thinking how I'd love to forget this day just to live it over again. It was a very nice day. Rob, you okay? Yes, why? <clears throat> it's just weird hearing you say that, that's all. <clears throat> I am a normal human with normal human emotions. That's what a fake human was not real human emotions would say. But putting it like that, and wouldn't it be nice uh, if the machine we use for work could be used for mundane stuff like that? Just to simply live any nice day over and over again as if it was for the first time. Technicals aside, actually doing so would be taboo for a reason. For many reasons. I'm using jest, not in reality. It'd be boring just to relive the same old day anyway. I mean, when you can do anything with it. If I were to do something like that, add all, add all kinds of reality-defying things like dinosaurs, flying pigs, and whatever. You know, all the things that are actually uh, absolutely impossible in real life. What about you, Eva? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably do that too. Okay. Con Reeves Gal. Fantastic as always. Is there a post credits scene? There better be a post credits scene. Because I need to know what's going on here. Beach episode continues after the credits. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, um, for those of you who haven't played the previous ones, they work for a place called Sigmund Corporation, um, which uses a machine that will alter people's memories, but only in their mind. And because the, um, the effects of it are fatal, therefore they only do it, um, they only do it to those who are on their deathbeds. Um... Well, still using RMXP. Okay. Um. It's meant to be controversial on purpose. It's nuts. Um. People on their deathbeds have recovered, though. That's fair. I mean, on their deathbeds, like, there ain't no coming back. Thank you for being part of the adventure. The last hour of To the Moon... of an epic To the Moon. Oh. I see. I mean, it's not murder when they make you sign saying that it, you're willing. Oh, shit. That's Eva. Is that, like... There was something in there that time. Is that a helmet that lets her relive it? I need to go back again, but this time just... Just let me keep myself... Weapon code activated.
Is it going to start over? Is it not almost done? Were the credits a lie? Hello? Yeah. It's me, Angus, your biggest customer. Who's still alive, that is. How the hell did someone survive it? What the hell? I'm so confused. So it is Eva, back in. The court of security camera, it's Angus again. Okay, anyway. Mention Flight 32's passenger departing being shortly at gate 4. I might have to pause this. Need something from the bookshop, they'll be here soon. You'll fill that animal quota, but warm this chair over here. Maybe it's Groundhog Day style, maybe. Okay, it's not quite the same. There's definitely an effect over it this time. What am I missing? Her brain definitely doesn't like it. Read the book. What book? Like the Groundhog Day book? Or the book on here? The one they said was important. Yeah, move out, move on. That's the one I picked last time. Choose the book. Still the same one, huh? Who are you? Did he put you here too? Neil? No, I'm something else. Just do your thing. I'm not what you need to worry about right now. She does have... Okay, you might want to hurry. The plane's boarding with her without Roxy and Rob. They're already here. Hey, oh. Oh, good. We're just about to disown you guys. What you guys gathering about? Plane's taking off. Let's go. Not even worried about her being pregnant. Okay. Yep. It's skipping through it. Okay. So, what did we miss here? She's exhausted from doing it over and over again. So she is... So if she's in it, how the hell is... Neil... Yeah, I'll be right there. How the hell is Neil up in that room? Is he... Is she trying to save Neil again? I don't freaking know what's going on here. She did say to go check out the, um, the, what's it called, the, these things, the, the, the plankton or whatever. She told me to come check them out last night. She was there the day before. Hey, last time you said there, you were saving a spot for someone. Is it for me? Pompous, are we? Could be if you want it that badly. There'll be phytoplankton in the waves here in a couple of hours. The view beats sunset if you ask me. I'll keep that in mind. Quan, don't you have someone to confront? Do I? Am I supposed to be confronting Neil about something? I was not given an opportunity to just read the book instead of, uh, bowing it, Philip. I am so confused. I am so confused. Eight of us here watching. Thank you guys so much. Should I be confronting Neil? Is that who I'm supposed to confront? Hey, listen. I don't hear it this time. Doesn't it sound familiar? Does it to you? Yeah. I can't exactly grasp, but there's something there. Who am I supposed to be confronting? 
the parents who are dead? Eva will be here for a while. If you find yourself wandering afterwards, come join us. I just might take you up on that. Who am I confronting? I don't understand. Eva, could you help me press the elevator button? Who am I supposed to be confronting? We're going. Am I supposed to confront Neil? <clears throat> Is this the memory that Neil saved that we're going back into? Four pieces, technically. I know the day is done for me. I'll take my rest and vacation tomorrow. Or is Eva not supposed to be here? Which is why she keeps editing. The new rooms are over there, right next to each other. Good night, bye. The music stopped. Is Eva not supposed to be here? Hiring early. Yep, or is tomorrow's a party after all? Let's go on the other side. Okay, I'm just coming through my keys. Yeah, that's the right side. Go in after him. So not too late in the evening. Wanna come with me to see if anything's happening around the resort? Yeah, let's go and... Maybe not tonight. It's been a long trip and the haze is kicking in. Stop it. Yeah, let's go and... Maybe not tonight. It's been a long trip and the haze... She's being fought. Stop with your manual overrides. Yeah, let's go and... I'm so confused. What the hell is going on here? I'm so confused. So he's memory too? He's... Is he a functional memory that's like... Oh. Eva, uh, hey. What is wrong with you? Why do you sit here and let them let that imposter deal with me instead? What, you think you're not already fake enough? Oof. Hey now, he's not really any more of an imposter than me. So is Neil the figment of imaginary? It's no different from when you dulled your own memory for immersion last run. Why do you keep on interfering? You give me this machine, yet you hide me, hide from me in it. You lock yourself in this room, clearly make it so I can find you. It's the town. We had this conversation before. You said you would keep away. F you wouldn't keep away anymore. Remember? Yeah, but this is different. You've been coming in here too often. Maybe I wouldn't need to if you would just be here. You were distant when you were alive. You're distant even when you're dead. Shit, son. So, he's being kept alive through his memories. He managed to put his memories in the machine like, we, like I thought he was doing eight years ago, however long now. If you'd only... Oh. So, really dead, huh? Really, really dead? He doesn't know, because he's, he's the memories. Sorry. No, I mean, of course I'm dead. That's why, you know, all this. But it's just strange hearing you say it out loud. I guess we just never really talked like this... Uh, talked like this here since then. So how did it happen? You know how it happened. I mean, how was I in my last moments? Did I keep my charms, crack a good joke? Retain my devilishly good looks? Oh my. That bad, huh? Sorry. 
all that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I know it's selfish to say, but you didn't give me enough time to prepare. I gave you this, and yet you're holding it at arm's length. Look, I just don't want you to wall yourself in here. As I said, you've been coming in here a lot recently. Who are you to try to babysit me? It's my responsibility. I'm the one who gave you. Then why did you even give this to me? I don't know. I didn't know what to do. On one hand, I guess just didn't want to disappear. This really wasn't meant for you. But I guess I just wanted to leave you something too. Wanted to build you a garden. What's the point of that if you lock yourself out of it? I know you don't want me to rely on this, but is it too much to ask for one trip with you fully present? I know it was impossible, but isn't that why you gave me this machine? To make something like that possible? Just this once, actually be there with us. Just this once, just go on a real vacation with me. Yeah, okay. Although... Do I still get to wear socks with my sandals? You're not going out with me in a lab coat, that's for sure. Get changed, I'll meet you downstairs. Are they gonna have a date? Cool effect, of course. This is one hell of a post credit scene. Looks like you got me out here at last. Just so you can sit there and keep to yourself. 
So, what are you thinking? It's just something silly. During the trip, I saw something I liked at the store. I dreamed that you saw that I wanted it and got it for me. That you bought it in secret and hung it on my door to surprise me. You would do that, right? Sure. Now on the trip, there was a time when I was scared. I dreamed that you were scared too, but you stepped in front for me. That you stood up for me and tried to protect me. You would do that, right? Yeah. But you're not you, are you? No, I'm not. I wish you were. But even so, I still remember everything. I still remember the first time we met. How you got me out of my shell, even if just a little bit. I remember the first time I held your hand, even if it was just to help you up. That time when you visited my place, how mom and dad thought you were my girlfriend. <laughs> and how I wished you actually were. may not have said yes back then, but I really wanted to ask, you know. And I almost did, but... Then I remembered the look in my dad's eyes that one evening. Mom was already in bad shape then, and he was already, always putting on a brave face. That evening I caught a glimpse when he thought he was alone. The helplessness and grief in his eyes. I realized I never wanted to see you like that. And yet, and yet here we are. Never had the chance to show you this thing I made. It's not finished, but it was for you. Oh, that's cool. Oh, a jellyfish. It's really lovely. It's very lovely. Thank you. You once said the ending isn't more important than the moments leading to it. That's um the original game, actually. Do you still believe in that? This isn't the same. It's not so different. The truth is, I never actually felt that way. The ending always felt more important to me. I replayed our memories countless times, being a part of them, watching them from afar. But no matter how I felt them, whenever I got out, I was always faced with the ending. And I just can't get past that. It's the one I didn't want. Yeah, well, I guess you can't always count on me sticking the landing. Sorry. Maybe we're just built that way. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe we're just not built to be in it for the moments. Just because of that, I thought it was especially important to remember that phrase so I could at least remind myself of it. What about this moment? How are you feeling right here and now? Here. I'm okay. As long as I'm here, I'm okay. Because I'm not too shabby after all, huh? You know you can't stay on this beach forever, though. But it's comforting. Sure, and that's why it's dangerous. Remember what I am. I know. 
Just a while longer, okay? Yeah, he was in too much. He got addicted to it and it killed him. Just a little while longer. Interesting. So there's different endings. Go to the Neil with Neil, go to the beach with Neil alone. Is an ending. I guess there's a different ending with everybody. Well, everybody, that was to the moon beach episode. Apparently, it was gorgeous. Oh, and there's my desktop. That was gorgeous. Um, God dang it, I'm going to freaking cry. Um, okay. Uh, Ex Machina. I don't know if you're still here, but if you are, I am going to refill my water, have a bathroom break, stretch my legs for just a second, and we will be back in just a minute or two. Um, if you're still here, I'll call you. If not... Um, that is, if you're still here, I'll call you on Discord. If not, then I'll we'll figure something out. Um, I'll be back in just a couple minutes, guys. Uh, yeah. So, see you in a sec.